Hey y'all, Noons here from Banana Hobby and welcome back to Noons Airborne RC. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about reverse thrust. More importantly, Flyfans 64mm L39 reverse thrust. If you guys remember, we had version 1 came out, came out with the standard ESC. And a lot of people wanted reverse thrust on that bird. You asked, we listened. So on version 2, it did come out with reverse thrust. Now we got lots of people with questions regarding reverse thrust on how you hook it up and so forth and so forth. So in this video, we're gonna cover exactly that. We're gonna go through three scenarios. Scenario one is you went ahead and you bought version two and you just need to connect your reverse thrust and make sure it works. Scenario two is gonna be you bought the first version and then you bought the ESC and now you wanna switch it around and hook up reverse thrust no issues there. Scenario three is going to be if you did all of the above and you still can't get your verse thrust working, I'm going to show you how to go ahead and get that working. So what do you say? Let's get started. Welcome back y'all. Now before we start, let me go ahead and explain my layout. I was going to show this in a plane, but that would just see my hands in a small little plane. You wouldn't see much. So I'm going to go ahead and do it here on the bench outside so everybody can see. Now I don't have all the correct components. I don't have a 64 millimeter on hand, so forth and so forth. So I'm gonna be doing it with the fly fans, 40 amp ESC, just like you get in your plane, but I am gonna be using a spare 50 millimeter. I'm gonna be doing it on 4S. Everything you will be doing is the same. I'm just doing this with what I have on hand. I'm gonna be using my bench TDR10. So let's get started. Scenario one is if you have the version two and you just want to go ahead and hook up reverse thrust and you never done it before. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and simulate that. All you'll have to do is on your receiver, you'll have to take your throttle lead and plug it into your throttle channel for FR sky. It is channel three. And you have this extra lead. Whatever open channel you want to go ahead and use for this lead, plug that in corresponding to whatever you want. I'm just going to go ahead for S and G, plug it into six. Now this is just a signal wire. So you're just going to plug it into the signal channel. So for reference, it will look like that. I'm using channel six. You use whatever channel you want. Once you have this done, you are going to assign a switch to whatever channel you picked and make sure the throws are negative 100 and positive 100 and you are done. Now for scenario two, you have the version one plane, you bought the ESC from us and now you want to switch it out. That's going to be very easy. All you'll be doing is you'll open up the EDF door and you'll remove these three leads from the motor to the ESC. You'll fish the ESC out of the plane. You'll fish the new ESC in and you will connect these leads. Now when I do this, what I like to do is I like to uh, connect color to color. Just like you would do a standard motor. We're going to run this just like it was a standard motor first. Then we'll hook up reverse thrust. So we have black to black, yellow to yellow, red to red. We will not be using a reverse thrust wire. We'll just be using our throttle channel wire for now. I'm using a TDR10. So my throttle for me is channel three. I have it plugged into channel three. I'm gonna power on my radio. I'm using an FR Sky X20S. And we're going to plug in our ESC. And you'll have this in your plane. I'm running for us, you'll be on 6S. We're going to start up the motor. All right. I'm running in reverse right now. So I'm going to unplug my battery. And I'm going to switch over two leads. Just like if it was a standard uh, ESC, guys. 
Okay, put there and there. We'll plug her in. Telemetry recovered. And she's going the correct direction. Now from here, same thing as uh, lost. option one. We're going to take our signal reverse lead and we're going to plug it into whatever channel that we designate. That's going to be a personal preference for you. For me, I have mine set up on channel six and this is just a signal wire and you're going to plug it into the signal channel. So it looks something like this on your receiver, just into the signal. Now on your transmitter, you are going to assign the switch to that corresponding channel and it's going to be negative 100 and positive 100. Once you have that done, you will simply just take the battery. Let me get this untangled here. Plug it in. Telemetry recovered. Forward thrust. We'll flip our switch and our reverse thrust. That's it. All right, now on to scenario three. No matter what previous scenario you're in, one or two, you just can't get thrust reverse to work and you did everything correctly. Now, that means that it was not programmed at the factory and that's gonna be an easy fix. Now, we're gonna go over it verbally first and then I'm gonna show you actually how to do it step by step. I didn't edit this next clip, I just froze clip some parts so I could write actually what's happening and you have time to read it. Now what we're gonna have to do is actually program the ESC. And the thrust reverse function is actually option one. They call it SWR function, I believe. Switch reverse function. Now to do this, you're gonna do it just like programming any ESC. You're gonna take your throttle channel on your transmitter and that will be on. You're gonna throw it to full throttle and you're gonna plug in the ESC. The ESC will emit two beeps. You will wait a little bit and then it will do a chime like one, two, three. That lets you know that you entered programming mode. Now it will beep one time after that. That is the option that we want. At that time, we will lower our throttle stick and we'll wait for the confirmation beep to let us know that we actually entered that option. Now when we're in that option, one beep is throttle reverse off, two beeps is throttle reverse on. So we will wait for it to beep two times, we will raise our throttle and we'll get a confirmation melody like a one, two, three. Within two seconds, we will lower our throttle and that will exit out of the uh, programming function and the ESC will start right back up. Throttle reverse is enabled and it will start working. Well, everybody, that's going to go ahead and do it for today's video. Hopefully, you all learned something. And if you had any questions or concerns, hopefully, they were all answered here in this video. Now, stay tuned. More videos to come. Thanks for choosing Banana Hobby. Noon's out.